good one here. Shorty's Cowboy Hattery. This is a 20X Moss. So it's gonna have the 20X buckle set, 20X slide. Uh, and this is for uh, Miss Lisa. Miss Lisa's last name is Skyhorse. She does leather work and stuff, and she's done some pieces for Shorty's, and um, she has good stuff. I'll show y'all a picture of something that carries with the booth for us. Um, but we're gonna do what I've always called um, a crossover crease, uh, which I've always done it a little different, uh, but this particular way that she wants it um, isn't the way I like to do it, but it's what we're gonna do it because this is what she has to do. So I've always called it a crossover crease just because it doesn't, the crease doesn't meet, right? So it crosses each other. So I always like to start with that. So we're gonna come in and kind of come in up at an angle, right? And then while it's still soft, kind of work it back and boom. So there's your crossover already, but we're gonna spiff it up a little bit. So we're gonna go a little more heat here and then we're gonna tie it into each other a little better. So you can see now how, you know, that crease comes this way and this one comes this way. And typically, I would do it where it was a little longer. This particular one, she doesn't want as long. Um, so it doesn't look like it crosses over as much as it does just a, a different crease. And I'll come in here, kind of tighten that up. Uh, and then, so from here out, we're just gonna do a telescope crease. Um, so we're gonna go around the back. Um, and then pop it back up in the center. Um, and that's, that's really all there is to it. So, not much. Um, I'm a very hard person. I like hard lines, symmetry, stuff like that. So, when I first started doing creases like this, uh, it was always hard for me to, to image it. So, uh, but yeah, from there out, we're just gonna work it into kind of a telescope crease, which like I said, normally I would do this and make it like longer waist. She wants it a little more rounder. So, um, and normally I cheat. I'd take a block and just push it down, make sure it's uh, flat all the way through. Uh, the block is actually my camera holder right now. so. Just gonna come back in, kind of tighten this crease up here. She don't want it real tall, but she doesn't want it real short neither. So I'm gonna show y'all something else though that she kind of wants. You know, typically we're gonna pop that center back up, right? Um, typically I would leave this like this, but we're, what we're gonna do to get the crease and the look we want is kind of work this crease down into the hat and I'll, and I'll show y'all how we're going to do that. Okay. Just going to tighten this up a little bit here. How's it going, sir? Yeah, go. What can I do for you? Okay. They're all right there. You want to peek at them. I'll doing this hat here, but I can be right with you and I'm done. So yeah, so just right here, popping it back up. Make sure it ties well into that crease. Just kind of tighten this up, I like a tight crease. Like I said earlier, we're gonna kind of dye this down into the crown a little bit more. And really what that's gonna do is give it more of a circular form here versus being longer. So. But anyways, so that's what I call a crossover crease, guys. Um, and I do some where we might put two you know, one in the front, one in the back, one on the side, one on the side. I've done three. 
done four. I've done five, but it's really hard to do. And you gotta have um, a really short crown person. So. But yeah, that's how we do it.